Okay. Should be set for the night. Sit. Tell me what adventures you and BD have had since we last saw each other. All right. Same as always. Fighting the Empire, helping out where we can. Not staying in one place too long. And, um... I think we might have found something special. A place where the Empire can't find us. But it would mean leaving the fight. And well, the fight is all I know. Cal. Look into the fire. It will warm you, keep you company. On dark, lonesome nights, yes? But left unchecked, it will consume everything in its path. Until there is only ash. But on a cold night, like tonight, a warm fire is perfect. And the company is not so bad either. I missed you, Marin. And I, you. I had to leave, Cal. In order to see the galaxy on my own terms. What'd you find? Myself. Reflected in all the places and people I encountered. Dathomir will always be my home, but... It does not need to define me. I never understood why you left. But... Sitting here now... It's clear you made the right choice. You missed a spot. Morning. The weather has cleared. Let's go. This way. The base is not far now. Well, we survived our first storm together. Yes, we did. I'm glad we got to see each other again. How long are you staying on Jeddah? I don't know. But I am excited to see Grease. How is he these days? Not bad. He opened up a cantina. Hyloon Saloon. 
You named this after his great grandmother. Nothing's more important to Grace than family. Sears told me everything. You have demonstrated great bravery and wisdom in the face of overwhelming adversity. You chose well. Well, I wouldn't go that far. <laughs> the Empire has claimed the ruins. We'll have to find another rendezvous point. Unfortunate. But at least the storm covered your tracks. Come. Come, let me escort you inside. Master Cordova, did you find the Zepho? Only faint traces of their passage heading deep into the unknown regions. Sorry to hear that. As it goes. Ultimately, that failure inspired me to seek out other Jedi survivors. That search led me back to my old apprentice. How are you been faring, Cal? That doesn't sound good. I've had a few scrapes, but I'm still breathing. And I'm glad for it. I heard some news about a Jedi terrorist on Coruscant when I was home ago. You were on Coruscant? base is well hidden. Yes. Well, the Empire's presence has grown these past years. They are much too strong to fight directly, but we do what we can. You don't have to keep here waiting, do you? Are you dreaming? Sorry, coming. It is critical, of course, that our work remains secret. What work exactly? Better to ask Seer yourself. Meanwhile, Marin and I will greet our new arrivals. So, how is the best
just keep trying. It's not like Brother Armai has to break contact. Cal Kestis. Welcome to Jeddah. I knew the storm wouldn't deter you. We're rebuilding the temple archives. And we're trying. As long as this knowledge remains, the legacy of the Jedi survives. It's incredible. Hmm. But something tells me there's more to this than just hollow books. Yes. We're a part of a network known as the Hidden Path. We provide safe passage and new identities to those who have been persecuted by the Empire. Hunted by the Empire, like... like Jedi survivors? Very few of us remain. But yes, and Force sensitives, and those who help them. What didn't you tell me? You never asked. Besides, I hear you've been busy making yourself the Empire's most wanted. I wanted to prove to the galaxy that the Empire is an invulnerable. That you can resist. That you have to fight if things are gonna get better. But then they just listen to the propaganda and they pretend they're free anyways. Hmm. Chose a hard path. And it hasn't made a difference. Well, while the Empire's trained its eyes on you, we've been able to build the network, find allies, and save lives. When you left, you'd just given up. I was wrong. Cal, you were just a child when they sent you off to war. You know, there was a time when I remember that the Jedi were more than just weapons. But we both have our roles to play in this struggle. Yeah, but that's why I'm here. Seer. Well, you get a load of this! Hey, Seer. You can't say it ain't short of personality, <laughs> but kind of creepy, though. Yeah, well, it's good to see you two, Grease. <laughs> <laughs> well, oh, hello, uh, Beanie. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> so, how was your time in the desert? The storm covered our tracks, but the Empire destroyed one of your speeders. It's a small price to pay for everybody's safe arrival. And who's this? This is Bodokuna. He is a friend. It's so nice to finally meet you. Uh, it's hunk of trouble! <laughs> hey! We're all together! Huh? Yes. Now, what brings you all to Jeddah? We're searching for a lost planet. Tantalor, you ever heard of it? It's on the other side of a deadly nebula called the Kobo Abyss. Well, our archives are far from complete, but I'm sure Master Cordova was up to the task. With pleasure. The trouble is, we're not the only ones looking for this place. I knew this was sounding too easy. Guy's name is Dagon Gera. He was a Jedi. Now he leads a band of raiders on the Outer Rim. There's an old temple there. Dagon intends to reclaim it. A Jedi temple out of the reach of the Empire could mean that there's information there that we don't have in the archive. I believe I have something. <laughs> oh, you're too kind, BD. <laughs> I'll start with the bad news. Oh, boy. This guy knows his audience. I found no information related to crossing the Kobo Abyss. However, I found two mentions of this Dagon Gera. He had a retreat on Kobo, and records show him frequently visiting a laboratory on its moon. Okay, we'll check him out. If you find anything, bring it to me. I am happy to assist further. Thank you. Both of you. You're welcome, Cal. I hope you find what you're searching for. May the Force be with you. And with you.
I will escort you back to the Mantis. So you're not joining us? I cannot. Hey, Cal. Hold on. I've had this since I started freelancing. It's gotten me out of some bad situations, and I figured it might do the same for you. It's Marin, right? Well, I could get another one, if you think you might want it. No need. Oh. <laughs> yeah, you're, you're good. Okay. My master always frowned upon using blasters. You once said it wasn't the weapon that makes you a Jedi. It's us against the galaxy, Cal. We've got to use every advantage we can find against the Empire. Thanks, Bo. Now, I'll show you how to use it. So where are we headed first? Back to Kobo? Or it's Moon? Let's hit the Moon Laboratory first. Alright. Maybe we can find something- Hold that thought. Let's pick our destination. Kobo, drinks are on me! <laughs> uh, actually, uh, forget that last bit. Maybe those anchorites aren't so bad after all. Didn't you call them weirdos? That was before Seer told me they're helping those poor refugees hide from the Empire. That right? Yeah, working with the group called the Hidden Path. Real hush-hush stuff, so keep it in the family. Understood. It was nice to see everyone again. Yeah, it really was. So, Cordova thinks we'll find out how to cross the abyss by tracking down Dagon's old haunts? That's right. You ever been there? Once. Used to be a settlement. Now it's just a bunch of crumbling stone spires and creepy ruins. Sit down, or here. Where should we go next? Oh, what a day. Hey, let's try to stay in the next place long enough for a nap. If you want a break, I could pilot the Mantis. Give you a chance to get some shut-eye. Yeah, and leave you in charge of the man is... No, thanks. You'd probably get lost in your dreamy reflection and fly us straight into trouble.
You ready, Cal? We're almost there. Smidge rusty. You? A little restless, but we'll be fine. Oh, listen to you, Mr. Optimistic. Hmm. Hey, you want to do me a favor? Cut it out. You're giving me a stomach ache. You sure, it's not your cooking. <laughs> what was that? We're almost there. Locals say the moon's haunted. They couldn't have put this laboratory in a sunnier place? No kidding. But if we find something here that'll help us navigate the Kobo Abyss, so be it. The way Grease tells it, the Abyss is a ship graveyard. And now we're on a lunar graveyard. A lot of graveyards. A lot of graveyards. Closed. Reminds me of the forest array, just on a much grander scale. Cordova said there were records of Dagon visiting a lab on this moon. It says Cree written all over it. Okay, so not that way. place operational after all this time and stay alert we need to find that lab Sectors 5 through 9 in operable, sectors 1 through 4 operational. Facility status activated. Array status deactivated.
waiting for us. for this. Then Ravis will reward me. He will tell you the plan. <laughs> We'll have to find another way around. Greetings. I ain't afraid of him. Just how many more are waiting for us? Bad feeling? Yeah, me too. Do your thing, buddy. Where's the laboratory? The laboratory is off limits. The laboratory is inaccessible. You're okay. Find somewhere to hide. I don't have access. I tried to tell them. Please. Leave me be. The Raiders really did a number on these droids. Personnel spotted. Unstoppable as ever, BD.
Just what I needed. Not done yet. We can do this. Ready, BD? that buddy It is to have something to fight. Oh, exciting! It can be done. Of course. Hey! 
Make sure the way is sealed. Nobody gets through. Not even that Jedi scum. Target is a coward. That's right. We should send word. <laughs> Weapon engaged! Sounds like they're defending something important up ahead. They're not supposed to. You okay? They're not allowed to enter. <laughs> 